And welcome back, everybody. This is my, uh, uh, back to the infinite diamond process. Uh, as you can see, I cleaned up the room even more, made it well lit and all that. Um, I've also added another alchemical chest, which you'll see is an addition to the, the diamond process. Look at all the dead stuff. Okay, so, this is my second design, which, after a little bit of debugging and working out some, some kinks and everything, it's not a hundred percent automated yet, but I have gotten very far with it, so it's it's a lot more usable. Um, this is the solar tree that I made in my my other video. That's powering these machines right here, and my old uh, solar array, that guy up there, the big one, that's powering these machines down here. Now this process is split like 50 ways, but I'm going to show you the basic mode of operation. Um, as you can see, I'm also using um, I forget the name of the mod, but um, it's like redstone power or something absolutely amazing. This is what um, I changed the design with the engines, so, so that uh, so the engines are below all of these things. As you can see, it's a lot cleaner, and it's also a lot easier to automate the this process here. So um, I'm gonna flip this off. So say this is like the start of I just started a brand new day. Um, this starts the actual process of the diamonds. This is this middle step right here. Basically taking the diamonds, um, splitting them into gold, gold into iron, and then right here, the iron splits off to the left and off to the right to go into this, this loop. But there's, since there's kept getting an overflow, there's also a split where the iron just comes straight out, um, goes directly into glowstone. The glowstone turns into, oops, not literal glowstone, there we go. Um, the glowstone turns into your iron ore, macerates, cooks, goes to gold, goes to diamond, and this comes out, made it underground to make it nice and neat, and this comes to this alchemical chest right here. So these are just, this is my raw profit diamonds. This was after testing for a whole day. So uh, I'm pretty proud of that, having 35 diamonds in one day from absolutely nothing. That's, that's a good day. So, and then meanwhile, while that just comes straight out, um, this splits back, does the same exact process, only on both sides and this loops back and keeps looping so that you have diamonds within the system. Um, that's 17 right there, so that's good. Um, so yeah, I'm going to start the process and I'm going to explain some things. Basically you want the machines running, uh, west machines just means the stuff over here on the west side, uh, east is all those uh, machines right over there, and the infinite diamond process initializer, that's just these few chests and um, the engines pumping all the stuff out in the middle. <clears throat> so I'll take you down below and show you what I did with the wiring. And there's a whole bunch of animals down here. But um, I made this a little cleaner right here. Uh, <coughs> pardon me. Uh, hooked this all together. Uh, you, you can see this in my previous video when I put all this together. All of these uh, wires are basically, you know, this is the best way I could find to put them all together. And what I love about this is that there's no... Um, I think it's that that 14 block rule where you know the old redstone runs out of current after 14 blocks. This stuff, it's I haven't found an end to it. There might be I think it's a certain multiplier higher than normal, but this stuff you can just keep running it forever and ever. So I have these first things hooked together, and that goes to my top switch. <coughs> Sorry, uh, these middle things, uh, the engines, are going to this right here. And then the engines. What is with all these things? Go away. These middle part or the the parts on the east side are all hooked in through here. So it's just tunnels and tunnels of redstone and everything. So now this is giving me all sorts of amazing ideas. Because now you know I was stuck doing redstone tutorials in like two dimensions. Now I can go three dimensional and do all sorts of sweet stuff. Not to mention this mod has. Uh, makes logic gates and different kind of stuff really really simple so I've been running this for just a little while now and um, these start to fill up pretty quickly um, because I realized when I designed this <clears throat> this side has four macerators coming out and this side has eight macerators so what I'm gonna have to do I'm gonna I'm gonna make a third design of this at least um, I'm basically just going to keep trying until I get this to be fully 100% operated where I just switch one button and everything works. But this, uh, I want to, basically I'm going to have to double the amount of macerators and furnaces on this side, so I'm probably going to need another layer or something like that. Um, 
or I ooh, that would be kind of cool if I made this looping like this and then another thing and it kind of looks like that loop where it splits in half, splits out that way, splits out that way, and goes up this way. So if you understood that, that made sense. You can understand how cool that is. But as you can see, this comes out and all these irons come flying in here. And this is my raw profit side, whereas this is just kind of like fuel to keep the loop running. So uh, yeah, that's that's what I've got so far. Um, after a while, these things start getting a little bit... Actually, these are doing pretty okay. <clears throat> so I can keep these running for a while. Um, these will fill up after a while. The furnaces are doing fine, but the macerators, they get they get locked up. So definitely going to have to double the macerators on this side for my future project. But for a second design, I am very, very happy with this. And I also, I'm going to have to start making this... Uh, I want to make the redstone with like different colors and stuff and start you know, bundling wires and really, really neat stuff to make it much, much more efficient. Because I just kind of, as an initial design, just kind of chuck this all together. And it's pretty sloppy, but, you know, there's just stuff all over the place. And what I'm realizing now, actually, as I'm looking at this, I could have easily just wired this from the ceiling instead of how all these columns coming down. But I like the columns. They're kind of neat. They give kind of like a, a symmetry to the... It almost looks like it's being held up, this top part. So I like that. That's kind of cool. Other than that, yeah, that's what I've got so far. What I plan on doing, let's check what our profit is so far. I think it was, what, 37 before, something like that? 38, okay. So, definitely not a quick process, I'll tell you that much. But, hey, free diamonds. I mean, how can you complain about that? There's another right there. Pew! So, yeah. Uh, what I plan on doing is, once I get this continued, um, I, might, I might start uh, working on a nuclear reactor. That sounds kind of fun. And then, while I have that being built in the process, I'll try to streamline this to make it much more efficient. And then, by that time, I should have enough diamonds built up that I'm going to start working with Dark Matter. Um, that's a part of the Equivalent Exchange mod, and you can do all sorts of sweet stuff with <coughs> Equivalent Exchange. Um, you know, Dark Matter locuses. Um, literally, you can duplicate items just by using, you know, Black Magic. <laughs> So it's that that's gonna be pretty cool. I'm I'm pumped for that. So um, okay, so these electric furnaces they seem to be doing fine. They're not getting backed up at all. The macerators, on the other hand, are getting slightly backed up. Nothing that's actually well. This one, for some reason, I'm not understanding how this is splitting up. <clears throat> Sometimes, before when I was using this, it was just doing like one up, one over, one up. I think it has to do with the distances. If this is a longer distance, it'll go there first, or not. I mean, I might just be completely making this up, but it seems as if it's not exactly, you know, one out, one over, one out. It's kind of random, so I'm gonna, you yeah, know, see this is a two in a row, that one goes that way, so it's, it's kind of hit or miss with this process. I want to, there might be a way to be able to make it so that you set up the piping so it goes one one way, one the other way. But uh, until then, until I figure that out, then I'll just have to work with this so far. So this is where like certain macerators get filled up, and others don't get filled up as much. So <clears throat> I'm gonna have to take that into account for my next design. So that side seems to be getting a little bit filled. Um, this side seems to be doing great actually. So yeah, these are doing awesome. They're not getting backed up at all. So yeah, future self, make more macerators cool. So, yep, that's all I got for now. Um, if you got, what the, oh, there's a bunny on my face. I can't see him in here. Hi, bunny. Hello. What are you doing here? What do you want to do? I'm going to go on an adventure, bunny. Okay, so next episode, I'm going on an adventure with this bunny, and we're going to do some awesome stuff, so stay tuned for that. I'll see you guys then.